Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Evangelist Andrew Kelly with the Word of God, the Gospel of Christ, the King James Bible. Amen. Praise God uh, to uh, tell you. Amen. Praise God. This is the power of God and uh, salvation to everyone that believes. Praise God to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Praise God. Glory to Jesus Christ. Amen. Said for your soul. Save him your soul. Amen. Praise God. Uh, uh, Jesus said, What uh, shall a prophet man is if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Praise God. Glory to Jesus God. So it's your soul that's at stake man praise god glory praise god i know a lot of people you know they don't care about their soul uh you know praise god that's why a lot of people are struck with cancers and with uh, sickness and so forth and so on and john said in third epistle john i would that you prosper even as your soul prosper so when the soul's not prospering well that guess what you know, you're not going to prosper I and mean, that's it praise god if your soul's going to be sick uh then you're going to be struck with cancers and all these diseases and the, the diseases of uh, egypt which uh, i was afraid of uh, it will uh, cleave unto thee, and the ones that are not written in this book, it will cleave unto thee. And Jesus said that uh, men are going to be looking for things coming on the earth. You know, the way is roaring, the sea is roaring, and uh, men's hearts are going to be failing, looking for things coming on the earth. You know, what next? What new curse? What new disease? What next? We have Ebola, and we got this, we got AIDS, we got uh, that, and so forth and so on. What new things coming on the earth? Well, there's always going to be something new on the earth because man has uh, been disobedient to the Word of God. Uh, man has always uh, uh, mocked the Word of God. Man has always turned away from the Word of God. Have uh, I've uh, been bypassing the Son of God for too long, and Jesus said they're nothing but uh, thieves and robbers. You know, praise God, glory, praise God, and said that they're just uh, nothing there but uh, just uh, robbing your own salvation with feigned words, making merchandise of you. You know, I said, buy my 10 volume encyclopedia book, how to understand the Bible. And the preacher don't even understand himself. He went to Bible school to get bewitched with his philosophies and theologies, praise God. But praise God, glory, praise God, we're here to tell you. Amen, praise God, for the saving of the soul, and the gospel of Christ, the power of God unto salvation. It's not God. It's not Jesus, it's his power, praise God, for I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, praise God. Paul didn't say, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. That would be the uh, Pope's Bibles and those funny Bibles, NIV and New Century and Non-Century and Non-English or whatever, and New English or whatever, uh, those perverted Bibles. You know, praise God, the Paul says, for I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. I mean, praise God, he's uh, told I pre fully preached the gospel of Christ, praise God, said, so I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation, praise God, for when I believe, praise God. So it's power because Jesus said, The words I speak, their spirit in your life, praise God, hallelujah, praise God. And then the problem with Christianity is, is that they have no life. They're still walking in sin, they're still walking in death, they're still walking with a Jesus that's uh, walked here 2,000 years ago, and he cannot be, cannot be found because we know him no more after the flesh. We've got to be risen with him. If you didn't be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above in Colossians chapter 3. Ephesians chapter 1 says uh, that, uh, we're what, that we're in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, praise God. So I'm in heavenly places all the time, hallelujah, praise God. The problem with Christianity is, is that they're still earthly. They're still in earthly places. And that, uh, you know, it says that they're uh, going to the Red Sea and to have uh, communion on the Red Sea because Jesus did it 2,000 years ago. Well, what's that going to do you? Absolutely no good. It didn't do Jesus any good. And that's it. You know, it's it that uh, didn't do Peter any good because Jesus told Peter, you know, the devil has the desire to sift thee as wheat. But when thou art strengthened, comfort the brethren, praise God, hallelujah, praise God. And Peter got strengthened. And praise God, he knew better, praise God. So Jesus prophesied and told him the right things. So praise God. Unlike Christianity today, you know, praise God, uh, they contradict and they uh, uh, they uh, want to minister to Jesus. And, and Jesus said, I came not to uh, uh, be ministered to, but to minister, to tell you what uh, does say the Lord for my Father which is in heaven, because the words which I speak not mine, but the Father which is in heaven. And I come to minister to you to tell you, you know, what uh, how you should live. But man, today he wants to tell Jesus how to live and Jesus where to go and expect God to be the butler. You don't want to get up and work. And the Bible says my people are slothful. Uh, children, you know, praise God, that's it, that they're uh, wise to do to do evil, but to do good, they have no good, they have no understanding. So, praise God, they have no knowledge to do good. You know, it said my people perish because of lack of knowledge, praise God, in uh, uh, Hosea chapter 4. You know, praise God, so, you know, it said that they're wise to do evil. You know, praise God, that's it, uh, man out there are wise to, to do uh, what they're doing, you know, praise God, that's it, and to uh, pervert the Bible, and they're wise to to uh, you know, come up with uh, philosophies and theologies through their father, the devil. Uh, you know, praise God, they're wise to to uh, really uh, get to the uh, hearts and the uh, pocketbooks of the Christians. And then that's it. They're wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge of. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. And that's it. If uh, I be a master, then where's my honor? You know, where's my fear? But they, you know, it's a man don't fear God. You know, that's it. They just laugh at him and uh, they mock him and they contradict Jesus. They say that he's God and they and they uh, don't understand what Jesus is talking about. They don't understand Jesus' speech, nor what he's talking about. You know, so they have to contradict and come up with a, with a scripture to cancel Jesus with Jesus or try and cancel Jesus saying what Jesus is saying because they don't understand what Jesus is talking about. So because they have no understanding, the, the church don't touch on it, they're going to have to cancel it because they have no understanding. And that's just as far as they know. They only know John 3:16, uh, Psalm uh, 23, Romans 3:23, 23, uh, Romans 3:10. 
uh, in First John 1 8, and it's about as uh, uh, pretty well as uh, church is getting uh, even if that much today. Praise God. So they know that where the bowling alley is, they know where the sports is, they know where the banquet of the church is. And Paul says, His God is rebellion, His glory is for shame in uh, the, uh, Philippians chapter. Uh, uh, chapter uh, 2, and uh, we uh, read that uh, in the Bible that uh, men are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge of. Can the Ethiopian change his skin? Uh, you know, the leopard change his spots, then may either are accustomed to do evil, do good. So there you go, these people are accustomed to do evil, they're accustomed to uh, do uh, wrong, praise God, said they're accustomed because the church preacher has been bewitched with, for his philosophy and theologies at Bible school, and that said that they're accustomed to think this way because uh, their Bible school preacher would mark them wrong if you could say that, uh, that uh, being made free from sin you become servants of righteousness so they're accustomed to do evil to do what the devil's will because he that committed sin is of the devil but these preachers in Bible school they went there and got bewitched and the Bible says freely as you receive freely give you know praise God so we didn't uh, have to pay uh, we didn't have to pay uh, $30,000 or $20,000 or $50,000 a year to get into Bible college and uh, for what to be coming out there uh, worse than any medical doctor because these people are carrying books and no Bible books about understanding Greek uh, about understanding Hebrew and Arabic and whatever and uh, so forth and so on and uh, they're still trying to understand why John 1, 1 says that the word was God when they don't realize it's a metaphor and they're coming up with Greeks and books and they're still trying to spend figured out thousands of dollars millions of dollars and having teacher after teacher who uh, don't have any idea why John said it who are not ordained to this gospel of Christ who are ordained unto condemnation and whose uh, fruit is twice dead plucked up by the roots but uh, this is what we have for our Bible school uh, there and then they allow these people coming into church creeping in where a lot of these people uh, coming in with the smokers and the drinkers and the and the, and the divorce and remarriage and the idolaters and the fornicators of this world and all these people in the world to teach the children pervert the children and then first got the pedophiles and all these people coming in uh, to the Roman Catholic Church and these idolaters and the Pope and his cardinals and nuns and everything and uh, just to uh, really pervert uh, the uh, saints no first got the says Ephesians 4 they sent the pastor the evangelist the apostle the teacher and uh, the um, and then, praise God, and the prophet, for the perfecting of the saints, praise God, glory to God. Not for the perverting of the saints. He didn't send the Pope, the nun, and the Jesuit, and the, and the Cardinals. No, absolutely not. No, that's, uh, that's the Roman Catholic Church, and that's man's uh, way of thinking. You know, praise God, but glory to praise God, amen. That's how we got the gospel of Christ, our God, to tell us all things. No, praise God, glory to praise God. The Holy Ghost, amen, praise God, the Comforter, is there to teach us and guide us into all truth. No, praise God, this God, Bible is our guide even unto death. Praise God, glory to praise God. It's the Holy Ghost, you know, praise God, is there to guide us into the truth. Uh, you know, praise God, glory, praise God. In Christ to me, the hope of glory, praise God, the word, you know, praise God, uh, keeps me going. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. And I said, you know, there's things in the world that uh, we may not be uh, uh, wise to. You know, praise God, there's things in the world there that, uh, you know, it's, that's uh, children of uh, light may not be wise to, like the children of this world are. You know, praise God, that's why that, uh, you know, the Bible says that the children of this world are wiser than the children of light. Uh, you know, why is, it, why is that? Because the, uh, uh, the children of this world, you know, praise God, they're wise to uh, do things, you know, praise God, and to to do uh, the banking and do whatever and so forth and so on and uh, they're wise to uh, uh, you know uh, to, uh, to uh, be quick thinkers you know praise God glory praise God and that's uh, you know that's uh, a good thing you know praise God that's it but uh, you know praise God and they're wise to do uh, whatever they need to do with the world but the children of light you know praise God was the children of light uh, you know praise God that's it they're not as uh, swift they're not as uh, wise to the things of the world uh, so to speak they're not as uh, uh, swift uh, so to speak because the uh, children of uh, the uh, uh, world, you know, for this guy that says they have understanding of the world and how things work. I mean, uh, look at these people out there that are uh, doing the phone scams. I mean, like these people know how to, you know, uh, get, uh, you know, do, do these scams. And you see these uh, shows on uh, uh, scams, and these are children of the world, you know, for this guy that are uh, uh, wise to do these things, get uh, every cent they can. They don't even have to go through the church. They just got to develop all these scams, these new ways and, and new uh, stuff and so forth and so on. And you don't even have to invent any of these uh, scams or anything. And they can already uh, get to your pocketbook and get ready uh, into your books, into your uh, uh, whatever, very quickly. And they know how to do that. You know, whether, uh, whether it be uh, Windows uh, calling to say that your Windows is down or whether it be uh, that you want a vacation and they want your credit card number and, and or whether it be at the bank machine and just uh, put in a phony uh, 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 
card uh, reader. Uh, so I mean, it's just incredible how wise the children of this world are. You know, so to to do everything they can for money and that's everything they can. But the children of light, you know, first God, that's uh, we're not uh, that wise because why? Because uh, we're uh, you know, first God, we're looking not Jesus. We're busy doing what the Bible says. First God, glory, first God, and said so we know we're just here temporarily. And first God, that's it. That uh, as long as we have food and remnant, being uh, having food and remnant, let's therefore be content. And first God, but uh, I love. Uh, uh, he said, children of the world, you know, they're wise to do whatever they can to get every dollar they, they can of you to rob the bank and to, and to uh, you know, that's it, to watch when the security goes by and to, you know, time the patrols and so forth and so on. Uh, amen, praise God. We children of light, we don't have that mind, praise God. We get the mind of Christ, praise God. And that mind of Christ don't need us to do those things that are of the world, praise God. Glory, praise God. Amen, praise God. But there's uh, things, you know, praise God, that uh, we as uh, children of light, you know, praise God, have to have understanding, you know, how to live in this world, to function, you know, praise God, as it, you know, with... Uh, others and how to, you know, first God, just go about doing our business, you know, first God, in the world, and we have to work with them, but we don't have to at all uh, get involved with their ideas, with their scams, and their parties, and their whatever, their smoking, their jokes, or whatever, and we abstain from all appearance from evil, the Bible says, first God. So, glory to first God. So, the problem is, this is that we have out there is that people aren't abstaining, and then they're endorsing, you know, first God, uh, Job, it, and uh, uh, Job, uh, he's it's a it's chewed evil, praise God. The problem with uh, Christianity is that they're not chewing, they're endorsing, you know, praise God. It's that they, uh, they really knock the Bible, they really hate Christ, you know, that's that they call him God. And, they, and Jesus said that uh, uh, that uh, all men should honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. He that honor if not the Son, honor if not the Father which sent him. So they don't honor Jesus in the churches today. They have no honor, and then that's it, because they don't love him, you no, know, praise God. Jesus said, man, love me, keep my words, if man love me. So they don't love him because they don't want to keep his words. You know, John says it's that, that we got to walk even as he did walk. He did say, if I know him, keepeth not his commandments, is a liar. So there you go. So, you know, it's it, uh, when Jesus said, go and sin no more, and uh, Christianity says we can't stop sinning, well, we know that they're a bunch of liars because Christ is not the minister of sin. We know that. Galatians 2.17. You know, for his God, for his God, uh, 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 his reality. You know, for his God, and uh, we I know that when these people come up and say that Jesus is God, well, whosoever shall confess that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, God dwells in him. Well, they can't confess that. So that's the problem is that they're a bunch of liars because Jesus said, is that the words that I speak are not mine, but the fathers were sent me. So, you know, the, the problem is, uh, is that the Christianity out there have a delusion and uh, they think that they're on the way to heaven by blaspheming the word of God and by somehow knocking God and kicking him against uh, pricks, kicking his son, his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, against the pricks. And people out there, uh, you know, that's it, that they uh, don't want to believe. They don't want to believe. They don't want to believe in their hardness of neck and stiff the neck. And that's okay because it says in uh, Proverbs chapter 29 that uh, he had often been reproved uh, shall suddenly be destroyed and that without remedy. Praise God, glory, praise God. So, I mean, how how so often now depends where the line is. Praise God, there's a fine line somewhere. Praise God, and once you cross over it, you know, there's no turning back. You know, praise God. So, how it's often? It could be once, it could be five times, it could be 500 times. We don't know. There's a fine line. You know, praise God. And uh, men out there are crossing so many fine lines that they've uh, uh, that they've just. Um, you know, forget that, you know, so there's too many fine lines that men are crossing, but not the, the uh, real line, praise God. They're not real crossing the line, praise God, that's it, to get into the Bible, praise God. And then, amen, how did Joab uh, in, uh, uh, cross that line? No, praise God, that's it, that uh, he wouldn't listen to uh, uh, um, to David's son, um, uh, to uh, uh, Joab and uh, uh, David's son uh, there that uh, end up uh, taking uh, uh, the uh, throne of David there uh, for a while, uh, not Abner, but... Uh, Absalom, thank you, Absalom, uh, Absalom, you know, for this guy that said that Absalom kept uh, asking Joab, hey, you know, I want to see the king, I want to see the king, and uh, Joab went and hearken, and uh, finally Absalom had to do something uh, nasty to uh, Joab that uh, really uh, took his uh, uh, wind to right of him and took his uh, uh, his uh, treasure that he really treasured, his barley field, his field full of barley, he was making money out of, uh, selling it by the roadside, I guess, having a little uh, market on the roadside for all the wayfaring men, all the people walking by. We don't know, but anyways, but uh, we know that uh, Absalom burnt uh, Joab's barley field, and finally Joab woke up and uh, and uh, decided to go to the king and, 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 and said, hey, you know, uh, uh, Absalom wants to talk to you, you know, first guy. But after so many times, you no, know, first guy, how many times is it going to take for you before you wake up and God takes something away from you. And sometimes people don't even now realize uh, and wake up that uh, God's taking something away from them, whether it be their kid or whether it be their uh, or, uh, their, uh, uh, or their soul or uh, whatever it's got in an accident or near death or whatever, you know, 
close enough or whatever for Scott to sit that, uh, or, or whether it be uh, their relative or somebody, you know, for Scott, or whether it be uh, uh, their money or their bank account or their job or whatever, you know, for Scott, when God starts cutting away at something, starts chopping it down, you better be uh, standing in that holy place because I tell you, because uh, there's going to be a lot of cutting, a lot of chopping down. Because Jesus said, I'm the true vine, and my father's the husband man, and every branch that beareth not fruit is, uh, you know, you know is hewn down and cast into the fire. And there's going to be a lot of chopping down. Let me tell you, because there's not a lot of fruit coming out of the churches at all. No fruit today. We just got the fruit for Sunday school and the fruit for Christmas and the fruit cake and the and the and the uh, turkey and the Easter bunny and the and the Christmas gift and and the, and the uh, candy coated apple and so forth and so on is the fruit that these uh, people have. And instead of having the fruits of the spirit, love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, meekness, faith, temperance, long suffering. Uh, you know, praise God. Against such there is no law, Paul says. Praise God. And Peter said, if you do these things, you shall never fall. Praise God. Praise God. But these people aren't doing these things. They're just uh, sitting there in the church and just playing church, playing Hollywood, and then just go out and messing up with the world. You know, praise God. Like, I'm on Facebook, and they have a five-minute reading. Well, okay, well, if a five-minute reading, that list leaves me uh, 23.55 hours to go mess up with the world. Forget it. You no, know, praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want uh, uh, 24 or uh, 27 a day. Uh, man, I need all the hours I can get in the day. You know, praise God. And there's still not enough to read this Bible. You know, praise God. There's still not enough to meditate in the Word of God. Praise God. So we got to go out uh, 24-7. Praise God. Glory. Praise God. Jesus said, go ye and out the world to preach uh, the gospel in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. It didn't say Father, Son, Holy Ghost. You know, like these Christians uh, think it's all one thing. No. Uh, three separate things that don't disagree. They're three separate things. You know, praise God. But these Christians don't understand it because they don't read the Bible. They just uh, got bits and pieces. That's why they're questioning the Bible. That's why they don't understand what Jesus is talking about because they don't read the Bible. They're just listening to hearsay and what man has to say. And the Bible says the rudiments of the world and not after Christ. You no, know, praise God. So it said, beware dogs, beware the concision. You know, uh, philosophers and theologians. Uh, out there, they're just uh, making heyday of the scriptures, just uh, giving people strong delusions. And God needs them around because when people don't want to receive the love of the truth, they're going to need the, a strong delusion to believe a lie. And that's it. That's why Paul says uh, that all those who live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. And then, first go, we must enter the kingdom of heaven, much tribulations. And men are going to hell in peace because they didn't get the gift on uh, Sunday or Christmas. They didn't get the, the Easter bunny or the chocolate or the egg with their name on it or whatever. So, so forth and so on. Ridiculous thing. You know, they said the rudiments of the world. Not after Christ, you no know, Christ God, glory to Christ God. I mean, they are the world, speak to the world. That's why the churches, synagogue of Satan, which claim they're Jews and they're not, are so worldly in their sin and their trespasses. And they got the scriptures out on the overhead projector and uh, said you can't argue against the, the preacher's uh, Bible, which is a gospel of uh, superfluity of naughtiness. Uh, this is a, a perverted gospel. It's not a King James Bible, anyways, and you can't argue against it because we're not going to go beyond the next scripture in case you might learn something, in case you might know something. So this is what we have out there, you know, it's a reality. So come out from among them, be, be separate, Lord, uh, separate from these churches, praise God, showing movies and, and holidays and, and feast days and, and so forth and so on. And uh, they call it the Thanksgiving down in the U.S. Well, that's it. Uh, you know, uh, Peter had a bird crowing, but it wasn't crowing that it was Thanksgiving, Peter. It was crowing because he was doing his duty, praise God, how to give him thanks unto the Father always in Ephesians chapter 4. We're not just giving thanks to the Father because uh, some bird has to make you remember that. It's, 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 it's reality that uh, how people are just perverting the scriptures. Paul says, you observe days, times, months, and years. How be that you labor in vain? And Jesus even said that you observe that you uh, uh, honor me with your lips, but your heart is far from me, teaching in vain the doctrine and commandments of men. Praise God. So, and praise God. So, as it says uh, in the Bible, and uh, it says is that uh, uh, that uh, uh, that many shall be standing there knocking. You know, that's it. That uh, Lord, have we not? Lord, Lord, have we not? Uh, uh, you know, done this in your name and done that in your name and uh, uh, went to Sunday school and had a, a feast and had a banquet and, and uh, ministered and did that and so forth and so on. You know, and Jesus is going to say, uh, yeah, but I never deigned you to call it. I never deigned you to do it. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Praise God, glory to God. So, glory to Jesus, praise God. And said that uh, these children of the world, you know, praise God, they're just going to make an extra dollar. Well, they're, they're wiser than the children of light because, uh, you know, praise God, at least, uh, you know, they sit there, they're there to get that extra dollar to, to make that extra money off you, and uh, that's it, and uh, they're, they're going to have the big houses and big cars, and then that's it, praise God, well, we children of light, praise God, praise God, uh, and then praise God, we're not going to be that wise to rob man and rob people and rob God, no way, but these people who are in the world, they're robbing God all the time, that's it, they're just robbing him for their own uh, thing, and that's it, and the Bible says, the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear, and yet you get these silly preachers walking around saying God loves everybody, well, hold on, without Jesus Christ, there is no love God, period, so, you know, that's it, praise God, and where's that, in the in the scripture, and they'll go in the official scripture. Well, God is love. Well, why don't you read the whole thing, buddy? You know, just don't read one sentence. You don't read a one sentence in the letter that your mom sent you. You read the whole letter. You know, why don't you understand why it's God's love?
world because he sent his son to the cross to be the appropriation for our sins. You know, praise God, and that's it, that God's love, they sent his son to the cross now that uh, he's uh, died for our sins. You know, praise God, it's up to us to come pick up the cross and follow after him. Praise God, to do what he says. You know, praise God, to continue on his works. Praise God, to believe on him, to believe on his word. Praise God, that he had believed not the Son of God shall not see life, but the wrath of God, that his Father is going to abide on you. Praise God, it's, it's, it's reality. But uh, people, you know, praise God, have uh, illusions and delusions, and that's it instead of uh, the love of the truth. You no, know, praise God, we're here with the love of the truth, no, with an illusion or delusion. You no, know, praise God, sick. praise God, and sit that God gives strong delusions, believe a lie. We don't receive the love of the truth. You no, know, praise God, and sit and uh, the God of this world blinded their minds. Uh, you know, sit, that's the glorious gospel of Christ, who's the image of God, should shine on them. But uh, they don't want that. You know, Jesus said, man loved the darkness more than the light. So praise God, glory, praise God. We're not here to give you an illusion or delusion. We're here to give you the gospel of Christ as it is written. You know, Jesus preached the devil, it is written. You know, he didn't say, uh, I'm going to my Hebrews, my Greeks here, my, you know, what my Bible school, uh, Nicodemus taught me, uh, uh, devil, and I'll be back to you with an answer. No, this is what the devil wants. You know, he likes it when these people talk about the Greeks and Hebrews and so forth and so on, and trying to find what not to cancel God's word. Well, forget, you know, first God, I'm finding words to, to uh, that's going to, uh, 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 not add or take away, but it's going to put exactly the way that it's uh, said and exactly the way it means because we're not here to uh, any interpretation. You know, as Peter says, that there's no uh, prophecy of the scriptures of any private interpretation. So we're not here to have our own private interpretation like most churches do. That's why they got so many churches, so much unbelief and so much uh, uh, faith. But it's not the faith which comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God in Romans 10, 17. It's just the faith of man. And uh, that's it. The faith of man is absolutely going nowhere but to a lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. Praise God, glory, praise God. She said, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you shall say, this mountain be thou removed. The people have uh, just enough faith to go to their church on Sunday and don't, you don't even read the Bible. And they can barely even say the name Jesus. And uh, that's it. They just got enough faith to go there. And they think that... Uh, you're a good person because you go to church. You know, good don't spell holy, and holy don't spell good. You know, praise God, the bosses come up from them, among them. Be separate, sins, Lord. You know, praise God, I'll receive you. It says, be not partaker of her sins. You know, praise God, the astronaut which goes up into heaven, uh, or goes up into the heavens, I should say, uh, up into space. You know, praise God, that's it. Uh, never mind him. You know, praise God, going up there. When it reaches into heaven, to God's kingdom, well, that's it. That's uh, another story. That's it, praise God. But, you know, never mind the astronaut that goes up into the heavens, into space, and walks around, and, and, uh, and does whatever, and looks around, and comes back down, and so forth, and so on. Well, forget it. God made all men to dwell in the space of the earth, not in space. And if they're looking for a place on the moon or on Mars, or, or trying to find out there's water on Mars, and so forth, and so on. Well, what's wrong with the water here on earth? Hallelujah. We've got tons of it. You know, praise God. Glory to God. Man just don't know how to use it. You know, praise God. It's simple. It's reality. Praise God. They know how to kill people with it, and to pollute it, and they know how to, uh, you know, uh, to kill people off of it, but to uh, use it properly, and to uh, as it's meant to be used, uh, men have no knowledge of that. You know, so, so it's reality. So, praise God, we have to have the knowledge of this Word of God, praise God. Praise God. So, this is what we have to do, praise God. And I'll be reading in Ezekiel chapter uh, 20, praise God, glory, praise God, and uh, uh, amen, praise God, uh, verse uh, uh, 45. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. So, this is, uh, uh, this is uh, the Word of the Lord, praise God. Uh, I have uh, cousins uh, out in... Uh, uh, Montana and uh, Chicago and uh, whatnot, and they write books on forestry and so forth and so on. And uh, uh, they should be following me. Praise God, glory, praise God. This is the next time they should write a forestry book. Will follow me because uh, you're going to uh, experience uh, uh, all sorts of uh, uh, forestry fires and all sorts of stuff uh, because the God's wrath is going to be on the forestry and it's going to take away the trees and the and the birds and the stuff and the away from the forest. Uh, I mean, because man don't want to uh, listen to the gospel, they should be uh, following after me uh, in uh, doing forest fires, and they said they'll be writing tons of books. I mean, praise God, they'll be, they, they won't be able to catch up. You know, so there'll be tons of investigations they have to do, and forest fires and whatnot, and, and uh, so forth and so on. And, uh, uh, and uh, you, know, you know, praise God, glory, praise God, that they should give God the glory, glory, praise God, not Mother Nature, or not whatever, it's God the glory, because he's making that sun hot, opening up that ozone layer, and that's it, they're making it hot, and he don't miss. You know, praise God, that's it, that uh, they wrote uh, books on the mango, Gooch fire in uh, Montana, uh, all sorts of books, uh, whatnot, and uh, that's it, you know, and, they, and they're wondering, you know, well, why this guy die in this forest fire because of this and because of that? Oh, it's not because of this, because of that, so forth and so on. It's because it's the way God has it all set up, you know, for his guy, because this guy is in God's targets, he's in God's sight, and goodbye, you know, say so it doesn't matter how good your equipment is, it's going to fail somehow, it doesn't matter how uh, how uh, much equipment uh, you're going to put on or take off, uh, it's, it's, it's not going to work, because when God has you in the sights, when God has you lined up, he's not going to miss, whether it be five people or six people.
people. And this one guy says, well, he barely escaped, from, uh, he bar just barely escaped from the forest fire. Well, that's right, he barely escaped, you know, praise God, because God wants uh, somebody uh, out there to tell him about his wrath, you know, praise God. This one guy escapes to tell you how the, the forest fire is, those uh, people escape from the narrow opening. Well, praise God, because God, uh, you know, is, uh, you know uh, has a little run to uh, tell him to glorify his name, you know, praise God, to tell people that, uh, you know, that the forest fire, because of his wrath, because this fire of his wrath for our God's consuming fire, praise God, that's it, and he said, uh, his wrath, you know, praise God, so that's it, that, uh, you know, they have a, a force crew, uh, four or five people, and then five people are dead, well, that's because God had them in their sights, you know, praise God, uh, fire my wrath, praise God, because that's it, that uh, he knew that they won't turn around, he knew that they're not going to walk his way, so, I mean, that's it, that uh, the equipment's going to fail, and all these uh, regulations, and all these, uh, uh, safety uh, features and nets and rules are going to fail and that's it and everything's going to go wrong and uh, go astray and that uh, things are going to go from uh, uh, you know first got one thing to another to another why it's because God has uh, you in his sights and that's it he's got your number and he's got your page uh, and he's got your uh, name on his calendar on his page praise God so there you go so there you go the so why people can't understand that and and they think it's just so amazing they can then they got to come up with new rules new regulations and that will fail too because God knows how to get around those praise God the God of the Lord Jesus Christ knows how to get around those because those people don't want to serve him don't want to acknowledge him you know praise God they're good Lutherans they're good Presbyterians they're good uh, whatever but they're not good sons and daughters of God praise God glory praise God and said praise God and then said when uh, it's my, my time to go it's my time to go praise God glory praise God and then when it was Jesus time to go it was his time to go the devil could not touch Jesus until it was time to go I mean then Entered the heart into uh, into the heart of Judas Iscariot. The devil entered into the heart of uh, Judas Iscariot. Satan entered the heart of Judas Iscariot. It was uh, time for Jesus now to be betrayed. No sit and uh, that's it. Praise God. God can't touch you until it's your time to go. I mean, so, I, mean I should say the devil can't touch you until it's your time to go. Praise God. Glory. Praise God. So I meant to say sorry about that. Uh, praise God. But I mean, so God has your number. I mean, He has that your number. I mean, praise God. And that's in the days are shortened for the very elect. You know, praise God. Glory. Praise God. So that's it. Praise God. So you know, praise God. So when He has a uh, number, we all must face the judgment seat of Christ. Praise God. Glory. Praise God. I mean, that's it. That, uh, uh, so there you go. So when He has your number, He's going to make sure that your number is going to be up that day. You know, first guy's not going to wait till tomorrow. If it's that day, he's got your number that day. You know, first guy, Howard, first guy, he's a consuming fire, he's a jealous God. You know, first guy, glory, praise God. And that's what I wish my cousins hang around me, because then they'll find out the wrath of God uh, and the forest fires. I preached uh, to uh, numerous people in the States, and uh, oh, yeah, no forest fires here, and no forest fires here. And they mocked the word of God, and they did not uh, choose to fear God. And uh, as Proverbs chapter 1 says, they did not choose to fear. And I'll laugh at the calamity, I'll mock them when their fear cometh. And there you go. So, praise God. So, uh, when, uh, uh, then, uh, yes, I guess a couple summers later or summer later, uh, you know, all of a sudden a major forest fire goes right through their area that's uh, never been seen or happened before. Why? Because they've left off, they chose not to uh, the fear of the Lord, and they chose not to, to uh, go along with us, say the Lord, and they just chose their own delusions. Uh, they, you know, praise God says in Isaiah, and then Paul says it's that God gave them strong delusions. So, there you go, praise God, hallelujah, praise God. So, there you go. So, they chose their own uh, ways. Death and life is in the power of the tongue, so they decide to let their long tongue speak. Uh, on their behalf, their serpent tongue, and to not uh, obey the gospel of Christ, and to and to uh, uh, not re uh, repent. You know, for God, that's it, and uh, that's it. And God said, "This is that uh, if that nation uh, repent re repents, that whom I pronounce evil against shall turn from it, then I will repent of the evil." Uh, it's not to do on it, but if it doesn't repent, well, that's it, I'm going to do the evil. So look at uh, Jonah, uh, Nivda repented of the evil, and God uh, repented of the wrath that he was going to put on Nivda. You know, for his guys. So it says in Jeremiah chapter uh, 19 that, uh, uh, that, uh, that if that nation uh, decides to turn away from the uh, evil, you know, for his guys, that's it, and I will uh, turn uh, my wrath away from those people. For his guys, for his guys, it's, it's reality. In uh, Jeremiah chapter, I'm sorry, uh, Jeremiah chapter uh, 18. Uh, you know, first God, glory, first God, said 19. Yes, first God, hell, first God. I know I've got so many words going right from my mind all the time. First God, glory, first God. Sometimes I'll, I'll not. Uh, I'm just thinking uh, so many things at once. It's the word of God, first God, said first God. And this is that. Uh, that uh, what instant uh, Jeremiah eighteen seven that what instant I shall speak concerning a nation concerning a kingdom to pluck it up and to pull it down and destroy it if that nation against whom I pronounce turn from the evil I will repent of the evil I sought to do unto them praise God they turn away from their sin remember praise God Jesus came that uh, uh, the propitiation of sin that the man can live and not die. But man want to die all the time. Man judge themselves on worthy of everlasting life. And Paul said this, hey, you, ju you guys judge yourself. We're not judging you. You know, praise God, every idle man, uh, every idle word of man shall speak, shall give an account there of the day of judgment. So praise God, glory, praise God, amen. And so we're not judging you. Amen, I'm not judging man. Praise God, if it's just man 
uh, Lord Jesus Christ has just judging himself so unworthy of everlasting life. Praise God in, in this reality. And the man says, well, you're judging me. You're judging me. Well, it's because the word's getting underneath your skin and you don't like it. Praise God. The demons and you don't like it. And uh, so that's why you're going to come out and cop out with that cop out that you're, you're judging. We're going to be judging angels in First Corinthians chapter 6. So much more of the things which pertain to this life. The Bible says, execute ye righteousness and judgment. Praise God. You know, praise God. We're not here to judge you to cast you in hell or whoever, but uh, we're uh, here to make a righteous judgment. Praise God. And the uh, uh, and the Bible says is that if we do those things, you know, praise God, which uh, uh, that uh, in Romans chapter one, or if I do those things which I destroy, I become a transgressor. You know, praise God, that's in Galatians two and uh, Romans one. You know, homosexuals, murderers, fornicators, rap, uh, backbiters, here's God, uh, malignant uh, whisperers, and uh, uh, you know, whole list in Romans chapter one. We're doing those things, and uh, we, you know, that's it. That uh, that's it. Uh, that uh, we do those things. Well, we can't judge. You know, it's just like a, a go out to say that they want to impeach Obama or whatever they want to impeach this guy. And uh, uh, there's a whole bunch of uh, people, a whole bunch of sinners who want to uh, impeach uh, uh, another sinner. First guy, drunk, who wants to uh, impeach a fornicator. You know, so forget it. You know, it, it, it don't work that way. There's one just as bad as the other. But when you're free from all that, praise God, glory, praise God, you can tell them, hey, turn around, confess your sins. You know, praise God, just like John says, we got the advocate. Hey, confess your sins, give up your sin, praise God, glory, praise God, because you won't make heaven the way you're going. Praise God, but man don't want to be judged that way. Men don't want the full judgment of Christ. They don't want the word of God. They just want to, you know, uh, they just judge themselves unworthy of everlasting life, and that's it. And they, they're sitting there, we're not worthy, we're not worthy. Well, the Bible says that you walk worthy of the Lord, so we you mean you're not worthy. I mean, first of all, we're walking worthy. I'm worthy because my sins are forgiven and forgotten. I'm worthy because, why? Because I'm a high priest. I'm a king. You know, praise God, I'm worthy because I'm walking with Christ in me, the hope of glory. Praise God, I'm worthy because uh, he's forgiven all my iniquities and healed of all my diseases. Praise God. So when people say they're not worthy, of course you're not worthy because you're still walking in sin. You're still walking with God. You're trying to walk with God instead of uh, walking in his word, walking with Christ. Praise God. Because to walk with God, you have to walk with the Son. If you're not walking with the Son, you're walking with God, you're going to be failing. I've had people on websites say they keep failing because they, they're walking with God. Well, of course you're going to keep failing because you don't have Christ. Praise God. Uh, Jesus said, if man love me, keep my words. There my Father and I will make our bold in him. So, praise God, you're just trying to walk with... Uh, with uh, God, and it's a Hollywood uh, uh, version of uh, you walking with God. Forget it. You know, that's it. Hollywood don't have it right. Never has it right. That's why they got to make up these uh, filthy movies like uh, uh, God's Not Dead, uh, and then they got to make up another filthy movie uh, about uh, about uh, whatever the, the new one that uh, they're coming out with in the spring, and it's never right. And they always like to talk about God, but never about the Son of God. And that's why men keep failing, because they talk about God, and that's why we're having wars, because they are ignoring the Son. They're ignoring Jesus Christ. So this is the problem that we have up there. But man, don't see that, because they're led by blind leaders of the blind. And there you go, Jesus fulfilling the word. You know, for it's got nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. You know, 9-11 happened because, uh, you know, fulfilling the word. And, uh, you know, they're sitting, they want to have people go to their church and pray for peace. Well, I'm not going to pray against Jesus. They're going to say peace and safety and sudden destruction shall appear. You know, they said, I'm not going to pray against the uh, God. I'm not going to pray against Jesus' words. You know, why, why would I do that? Uh, why would I pervert the gospel that way? It's an absolute abomination what man has out there. Praise God. But, Lord, she's praised God in many. Ezekiel chapter 20, verse uh, 45. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face toward the south, and drop thy word toward the south, and prophecy against the forest of the self field. I mean, that's it, prophecy. You know, that's it, against the force of the self field. You know, first guy that said that, you know, it's it, uh, the self field, you know, first guy that prophecy, you know, first guy that said that church in the forest or that church in the rock or church on the hill or whatever, uh, in some sort of uh, forest or some sort of little shack or whatever, uh, you know, that's it, uh, you know, prophecy against them because these people aren't uh, preaching or doing the right thing, you know, uh, saying the right things, you know, praise God, that's it, and prophecy against this area, praise God, that's it, and uh, as I tell people that uh, I'm one of McLean's, you know, praise God, uh, I'm McLean's uh, like from River and Street, I'm a cousin, actually, them, and uh, Maybe a McLean preacher that may have baptized you, or preach a McLean preacher that preached you. Some sort of uh, I don't know if, uh, how many people McLeans uh, in our family uh, ever preached the truth, or even dared to preach the truth, and or even dared to say uh, the truth that I say that uh, to sin no more, righteousness, perfection, holiness, sanctification, and uh, that uh, um, uh, that he that believeth and is baptized, and that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and that. Uh, he that the commission is of the devil. I don't know how many uh, McLean said that. They uh, went, most of them, I would assume, went to Bible school. I don't know much about uh, uh, my McLean side. Uh, I know that uh, there was a whole bunch of preachers, and and uh, you know, of course, uh, I know uh, that uh, a couple of them went to Bible school. But uh, I tell you uh, one thing: it uh, maybe a McLean preacher that uh, baptized you or taught you or whatever. But it will be a McLean preacher that will put you in your grave if you don't obey the words God. No, praise God, I'm not going to uh, literally uh, come out and uh, uh, and, uh, and, and uh, you know 
take a gun to you or whatever. No, but it's the word that's going to get to you. Praise God, glitters. Praise God, everyone really said, our God's consuming fire. Praise God, this McLean, the voice of this McLean, of this uh, preacher right here. You know, praise God, is the one that's going to put you in your grave if you don't convert. And you know why? Because, uh, because God and fire of our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, you know, can't stand them uh, that, that pervert. Uh, and perverts, you no, know, praise God, profane his name, praise God. So you can't stand those people who are uh, profane his name, no, praise God. He's given them space to repent and, uh, uh, and men, they, they, want, want, they don't want to repent. Well, that's it, praise God. That space eventually gets smaller and smaller every day until uh, there's no more space to move around. And the only thing he has to do is now just uh, uh, is to close that up and just close that space up, you know, praise God. It's just too much space because uh, he's given you uh, an inch and you haven't even budged, uh, uh, you know, one bit, you know, praise God. He's given you... Uh, uh, that space to uh, repent after you heard the truth, and that's it. And you haven't even budged. That's it to get out of your sins, to get out of uh, the devil's uh, uh, playground. Praise God to get out of iniquity. Praise God. But we're here to go on to righteousness, unto holiness, unto perfection. Uh, being made free from sin, you, be you become a servant of righteousness. You must be born again. Jesus said, "You must be born again." Praise God. Born of the Spirit. Praise God. Now that Jesus died and uh, rose again from the dead. Praise God. We gotta be born of the Spirit. The same Spirit that rose Jesus from the dead be in you. Shall also quicken your mortal body, praise God. And uh, that's it, the spirit of his word, they speak their spirit in your life, praise God. And that's it, the gospel of Christ, the King James Bible. And then, praise God, hallelujah, praise God. Because it's taking vengeance on them, they obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, praise God. And then, our God's consuming fire. No, praise God, that's it, praise God. So there you go, that's why hell is made by God. No, glory, praise God. We read in the Old Testament days, the Lord killeth and maketh alive. No, praise God, he uh, uh, raised from the dead, he maketh one rich, maketh one poor. You know, I, the Lord, do all things, praise God, that's it, hallelujah, praise God. And that's it. And these people out there, the poor, you know, they may have a lot of money in this world, but the poor in the gospel. And that's it. The poor, uh, the poor people. That's it. In the gospel, you know, praise God. That's it. You know, Jesus died poor. You know, that's it. He, uh, he, uh, he died poor. You know, that's it. Uh, uh, that's it. Praise God. That he died uh, in the grave. He died poor. You know, said he died. You know, he can't be any poorer than that in debt. You know, praise God. Said so. You know, praise God. But uh, he died poor. But he, uh, he lived. By the power of God, you know, for his God, for three days, you know, for his God, hallelujah, for his God, and that's it, he rose again, like you said, about Jonas, you know, that he was in the whale for three days and three nights, so also the Son of Man be, and, you know, in the face of the earth, for his God, in the, in the, uh, in the earth, for his God, so glory to for his God, and so I should say, you know, for his God, so the Son of Man should be in the earth, for his God, he got the keys of hell and death, for his God, but this McLean preacher, if you don't uh, obey the words uh, of this gospel of Christ, if this McLean preacher tells you to read your Bible, I don't know how many McLeans ever told you to read the Bible, but this one will tell you to read your Bible, because uh, that's it, I mean, we've had uh, cousins, uh, uh, like uh, the, the movie River Runs Through It, you know, they don't, they can't understand, well, why was Paul McLean such as this and such as that, I'll tell you why, because uh, his uh, dad uh, went to uh, Bible school, and, uh, you know, sit, uh, my cousin, uh, Reverend McLean, and uh, Bible school, and uh, the Bible says this is that uh, they, uh, uh, they, uh, you know, are uh, not ordained to be ministers, but they, they forced themselves to be ministers. They transformed themselves as ministers of righteousness, for his God, to go into Bible school to uh, become a minister. Well, that's not the way. You know, for his God, that said, Jesus said, except my Father draws you unto me, ye cannot be saved. And the Bible says uh, that uh, if a man know not how to uh, uh, rule his house, how shall he take care of the church of God? I mean, so that's it. So, I mean, can you imagine that? Uh, that, that's it, that uh, you can't uh, control your sons, control your daughters, well that's it, and this is what's happened, is, is that man going to Bible school, and they're cursed, you know, that's a curse be any man that conforms not to the words of this covenant, and the Bible schools have not conformed the words of this covenant, of uh, this uh, Bible, it just conforms the words of, uh, conform the words of uh, Greek and Hebrews and so forth and so on, and that's the sin that dwelt in uh, uh, my cousin Paul, and that's the sin that dwelt, uh, you know, for his God from the parents, because the parents were unclean. They had Presbyterian gospel, but not the gospel of Christ, for his God, because the gospel of Christ, which is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, and then, for his God, that's it, that uh, this is the one that's going to save your soul. And praise God, not the Presbyterian gospel, not the gospel of uh, unrighteousness, not the gospel of the uh, uh, the Catholic Church or the Roman Catholic Church or the Mormons or Jehovah Witness Church or whatever. Know this gospel of Christ is the one that's able to save your soul because when men don't want their soul saved, they'll go sit in some dead church, dead works of faith, and that's it. And uh, then come at the end, uh, that's it, uh, when they have to face the judgment seat of Christ. And if your name's not found written in the Lamb's Book of Life, it's hellfire brimstone. And then homosexuals or uh, murderers or fornicators or whoremongers or, uh, or uh, God gospel perverts or uh, people out there who are uh, uh, drunkards, riders of the flesh, and, and people out there who are following the flesh, you know, there's dwells no good thing, 
because you cannot produce fruit unto God when you're walking in the flesh. The Bible says, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lusts of the flesh, praise God. But we have a, a family uh, out there, praise God, that's, uh, uh, who is uh, walking perversely in the Bible instead of in the Bible, praise God. Uh, as they, they ignore me because I never went to Bible school, but that's okay, praise God, glory, praise God. Uh, Jesus said this, is that uh, he that heareth you, heareth me. He that heareth uh, me, heareth him that sent me, praise God. And they hated you before they, they hated me before they hated you, praise God. So long before they hated uh, uh, me for preaching this word, they hated Jesus, you know, praise God. So that's it, praise God. But he'll choose the foolish things of this world to confound the wise, praise God, glory, praise God. And that's it. So, man, that's it. Go to the self field and drop thy word towards the self. And props against the uh, force of the self field, praise God, glory, praise God. Leah. And say to the force of the self, Hear the word of the Lord, thus saith the Lord God. Behold, I will kindle fire in thee, and it shall devour every green tree in thee, and every dry tree, and flaming flame shall not be quenched, and all the faces from the south to the north shall be burnt therein, and all flesh shall see that I, the Lord, have kindled it, and shall not be quenched. No, that's it, Hallelujah. First God, I was saying that family, uh, uh, he does books on forestry, you know, praise God, glory, praise God, and, uh, you know, and I, I, you know, that uh, I, I feel sorry for them. You know, the Bible says in the, uh, Ecclesiastics is that there's a uh, uh, making them many books and there's no end, and then and much study is much weirdness to the flesh. You know, praise God, I said it's just uh, much weirdness to the flesh, but uh, you know, praise God, I will uh, kindle fire thee, and then for God's a consuming fire in Hebrews chapter 12, uh, last uh, scripture, and says, I will kindle fire thee, and shall devour every green tree and every dry tree, and flaming flames shall not be quenched, quenched, and all places from the south to the north shall be burnt. Therein, you know, praise God. That's why we have these uh, people with fighting forest fires. Uh, you know, praise God to go out in these forest fires, and uh, you know, I envy them. You know, praise God, they're out there uh, rescuing uh, people and saving, uh, you know, lives, and and then uh, at the risk of their lives. But then at the same time, you know, that's it, praise God. When it's uh, uh, your time to go, you know, that's it, praise God. You don't make no mistake on who's on that list and uh, who's going to be jumping and, and who's the day off and so forth and so on, because it's God's going to have His day. You know, praise God. That's it, praise God. Yes, it. Uh, you know, a man may be saved. You know, praise God by. Uh, uh, rescuer for a forest fire uh, person, but praise God, you know, he needs people to tell them about uh, his wrath, about uh, uh, his, uh, you know, said he needs people to tell him about uh, who he is, praise God, said, praise God, so he needs uh, to be glorified, you know, praise God, said, praise God, to talk about him, praise God, you know, said, to talk about his wonders, praise God, glory, praise God, he needs those people uh, out there, you know, praise God, to somebody there to to uh, talk about it, to make up the hedge because man, preachers aren't making up the hedge they're just uh, uh, they're destroying the hedge you know praise God both uh, you know that's it uh, but we need uh, people to make up the hedge you know that's it to make up for these preachers and, and uh, yes I was in that forest fire and you should have seen the flames it was six feet high by ten feet long and uh, and it was coming at a high rate of speed and so forth and so on and uh, uh, that's it you know praise God this is uh, uh, what uh, you know praise God uh, that uh, uh, this is how the big the fire was and so forth and so on and we just barely got out of it with our lives and we're lucky that uh, we just uh, escaped uh, the uh, flames uh, because uh, uh, because of this and because of that and so forth and so on. Well, you know, that's it, that uh, you just barely got over it because God wants you to talk about it. Man, praise God, if he wants you in there and be burnt, you know, praise God, that's it, he'll uh, leave you in there and be burnt. You know, it's as simple as that. It's reality. I mean, praise God, of praise God, it's, 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 uh, it's reality. It's how he works. He's a consuming fire. I mean, praise God, he's a jealous guy. When you don't want to convert to the words for the Lord Jesus Christ and don't have the uh, word of the knowledge, you know, praise God, get knowledge, get wisdom, get understanding in Proverbs chapter 4. You know, praise God, when Jesus said, learn of me, amen, praise God, that's it, that when uh, man don't want to learn of him, don't want to get in the Bible, and then God, the Lord knows, you know, that's it, praise God, you won't get in the Bible, and even though the Bible's been preached, you haven't been getting in the Bible uh, since you're 30, 40, 50, 60, 80 years old, or whatever, um, then uh, you won't be getting the Bible for the rest of your life, you know, that's it, so he'll know, that's it, that, uh, that uh, you're, 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 you're enough but a, a waste of time, so to speak, that the whole those, all souls are mine, the soul that sinneth, it shall die, you know, so, and this is, there you go, so it's reality, whether it be in a fire, or a car accident, or uh, whatever uh, accident uh, out there, that, uh, uh, that's it, that, uh, you know, they, they say that uh, this goes wrong and that goes wrong. And yes, you know, we have uh, mechanical stuff in this world that, uh, you know, things will go wrong because made by man, you know, anything made by man does go wrong. Well, that's why we have uh, um, auto mechanics and, you know, to, to change your muffler, to change your tires and change your uh, brakes and so forth and so on that go down and, and uh, whatnot. And yes, you know, praise God, and of course, praise God, we need them, praise God, but, uh, you know, praise God, that's it. Uh, but uh, when it's uh, your turn to, to, uh, to, uh, to uh, be uh, cast off the face of the earth because uh, you're not doing your bit uh, uh, in the gospel. Well, that's it. Goodbye. Hallelujah. It's, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's your turn to be cast off. It's your turn to be cast off. No, praise God. Glory, praise God. And uh, there's no respect to a person, as the Bible says, praise God. So it's those that fear him, you know, praise God, to uh, live godly in Christ Jesus. You know, as uh, uh, First Thessalonians chapter 10 says, is that we're safe in the wrath of God. 
by Jesus, you know, praise God, sit, you know, praise God, sit, uh, by abiding in Christ, you know, praise God, and having the seal God in our forehead with the word, you know, praise God, in us, praise God, and uh, that's it, praise God, uh, you know, said, but when you don't want him, we don't want his word, we don't want his ways, you know, like Jesus said, the fear ye him that have the power to cast in hell, after he killed the body, you can cast your soul in hell, praise God, of course, praise God, man, get in the car, and that's it, you know, and uh, goodbye, they go through the windshield, goodbye, and then they're pronounced dead at the hospital, or uh, overdose, well, that's it, God will give you the, the right amount of dosage to kill you, if to take you off the face of the earth, the right amount of alcohol, the right amount of booze, the right amount of uh, whatever, to take you off to your face of the earth, goodbye, you know, praise God, and, uh, uh, you know, that's it, and uh, uh, he uh, gave uh, uh, King Nebuchadnezzar the right uh, words, uh, many, many to call you Parsons, you know, that's it, the right amount of words, you know, that's it, and uh, to tell him goodbye, you're, off, you're going out to face of the earth tonight, uh, the Chaldeans are going to overrun you and overtake you, you know, praise God, so this is uh, uh, but uh, God will give you the right uh, amount of uh, whatever. If he's got the right words at the uh, right time, uh, he'll, tell, let, he'll let you know, give you a warning, he'll let you know. And then uh, sometimes there are times where God will just, uh, I mean, for God will just uh, give you a warning. We have people who are just uh, uh, coming to the college where I work and who are completely drunk and intoxicated, and, you know, for his God, and uh, almost near death or uh, you know, first guy, or just uh, you know, just uh, uh, all over the place, and just uh, a complete mess. You know, first guy, and God's trying to wake them up. You know, first guy, because uh, these people, with uh, they died uh, in the middle of the night. First guy, there's always a man guy around like me in the, in the college to to tell him. You know, first guy, and uh, uh, you know, I uh, I. Uh, you know, I work, but a lot of times I feel like saying, well, what if you die in the middle of the night in your sleep? You know, for this guy, so, you know, it's a wake-up call. But maybe you should get out of that, and if people hate it, and they hate it, and they can't go anywhere else, well, it's because uh, they hate it. It's because they don't want to go to the Bible, said Prince God, and uh, uh, they don't, they're not told to read the Bible by man. You know, for this guy, they're not told to, uh, out there by mankind to read the Bible, to give up their sin, to give up their c uh, cigarettes or their... Uh, uh, tobacco and their uh, drinks and their booze and their uh, fornications or whatever. They're not told and man hated and man know it's wrong, but they uh, can't seem to find find a way out because why? Because man uh, haven't all told them the truth. I mean, that's it. They mocked the word of God. They've uh, they've, uh, they've they've really made heyday of the word of God. And this is what's happened. You know, that's that it's reality. Is is that uh, uh, that uh, man out there has not told them the truth to present your body living sacrifice only except one to God. Glory to God and Leah. It's reality. And I'm always speaking fast because I know that the Holy Ghost is always dwelling in me, praise God, praise God, the love of Christ in me, praise God, so the Word of God is always dwelling in me, praise God, the day star that rises in my heart, you know, praise God, the bright morning star, you know, Jesus is, praise God, hallelujah, praise God, it's always in my, in me, and Christ in me, praise God, I was just talking to somebody today, and, uh, you know, praise God, uh, she's saying that, uh, well, God, uh, you know, has to uh, walk beside us, and uh, so forth and so on, well, that's right, that's before the cross, that was uh, great in David's day, you know, thy staff, thy rod, that comfort me, and David had to dwell in the house of the Lord, he couldn't have uh, God dwelling in him, but praise God, you know, said that, that but uh, Jesus walking beside you, or God walking beside you, can't help you. You know, ask King Solomon. You know, said, "Praise God." Uh, God warned him, but uh, he still went on and on. But uh, you know, praise God. But now we got something better than King Solomon has, or some better, better than David has. That's Christ in me, and God in me. Praise God. That's it. Praise God. Uh, making our bold in, in us. Praise God. Glory. Praise God. And that's it. We got the outpouring of the Holy Ghost, and praise God. We got the outpouring of the Spirit. Praise God. And we got the whole Bible. Praise God. Glory. Praise God. So we can walk, walk in us, and it comes to our memory, quicken our mind. Praise God. We got an armor, and that we can win the the battles. No problem. Um, praise God. I mean, it's a day to wait upon the Lord to wait to win their battles. Praise God. But now today, praise God, we got the victory. As Jesus said, it is written, and the word is nigh in our mouth. Praise God. Glory. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, amen. Praise God. So, uh, say to the force of the self, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God. Behold, I will kindle fire in thee, and shall devour every green tree, and every dry tree, and flaming flames shall not be quenched, and all the faces in the south and the north shall be burnt therein. And the flesh shall, all flesh shall see it, then that I, the Lord, have kindled it. And it shall not be quenched. No, praise God, glory, praise God. It said he made the sun hot. No, praise God, the, uh, 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 an unusual uh, amount of snow that did not fall for the year. And the sun's getting hotter and the force is getting drier and drier. And, uh, and that's it. And they're telling people to conserve the water, conserve this, because uh, so forth and don't light any forest fires and uh, uh, so forth and so on in the campground uh, because uh, uh, it hasn't been a, 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 a wet enough winter or, uh, or so forth and so on. Uh, you know, praise God, so there's not enough snow, and that's uh, it, to, to make an impact on the ground, and uh, and uh, too many leaves on the ground, and that's it, and uh, this is uh, what's causing it, is that God is controlling the weather, and that's it, that uh, he'll make the sun hotter and hotter, like a Tejan Revelations, and that's it, that he'll uh, burn your uh, little uh, 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 things, and uh, your own ways, praise God, that's uh, 
uh, maybe place guy that you're doing in your campgrounds, whatever, or you'll or you'll make it into uh, those campgrounds, or you'll make it into those forests. You know, for this guy, it's all burnt up. You know, for this guy, the men of uh, you know they have a way they uh, call it the firewall, and they put another fire up just to, so that the fire doesn't burn beyond a certain point, and so forth and so on. Well, okay, well, you won't get beyond that point. Not uh, today, not tomorrow, but then uh, you know who knows? Two weeks from now, a lightning bolt. God send his lightning bolts, lightning from one have one end to the other uh, to come down on the face of the earth and and light another part of that so that you're not expecting. You know, for this guy, that's how it works. And God said, when you don't want his gospel, I mean, that's it. He's a jealous God. I mean, that's in the devil is a roaring lion, and he's a, je a jealous devil as well. Don't forget, for God, God, for God, because a man's sin, man's unbelief, man's uh, 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 man's ways. That's why that uh, we have all these things happening. For God, people can't understand why. You know, why, why, why do they have to die? Why, why is it uh, that he had to die? You know, why is it this and that and so forth and so on? Why? Why, why him? Well, it's his, his name is up. His time is up because that's it. Because uh, you don't want to believe the word of God. That's it. That uh, you're going to get a cancer. You're going to get a, a thing. You know, for this guy. That you know. That's why the Bible says in Psalm uh, 91 that uh, not to uh, that uh, that the uh, peasants that fly by night. I mean, we don't worry about that. You know, for this guy, for this guy, says is that bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that there is within me, and uh, who forgive all thy in it. Uh, Diseases, who forgive all thy iniquities and heal all thy diseases. Praise God. God took cerebral palsy on me. And Mark chapter 2, you know, Sunday sins be forgiven thee. You know, praise God, that's it. And uh, the plagues that are not written in this book, you know, praise God, God will add unto you. And uh, that uh, the ones that are in Egypt, which thou are afraid of, he'll uh, put those as well. Why? Because men have not obeyed his word. You know, praise God, men are always obeying, uh, you know, uh, the nations around them, or serving other gods, serving, uh, doing what the devils will. You know, praise God, men are so obedient more than the uh, devil worshippers, especially. Christianity, more than devil worshippers, uh, to serve the devil, praise God, because they claim they can't stop sinning. Uh, amen. That's it. They should be called devilins, not Christians, because Christian means Christ within. Devil ends means devil within and Christ without. So Christian means Christ within and the devil without. And devil in means uh, devil within and Christ without. And this is what the problem with you have today is uh, people call it devil ends. Uh, I mean, that's it. Praise God. Glory praise God. So this is what uh, we have to get in the Bible, the gospel of Christ, to start uh, preaching to tell people, you know, praise God, what does say the Lord, praise God, because people are not doing what does say the Lord, and, and he'll take away your force. You know, that's it, because, uh, okay, I'll take away your force. You know, praise God, that's it. Uh, and all flesh shall see the, the, that I, the Lord, have kindled it, and shall not be quench. Then said I, O oh Lord God, they see me death and not yet speak parables. You know, for this guy, glory for this guy. So he said, uh, you know, said, uh, you know, this guy, uh, does, you know, are you not uh, speaking, uh, you know, some sort of a parable? Uh, Ezekiel, for this guy, he won't burn our forest just as much as the people didn't believe Noah. Oh, he won't flood the earth. Well, he did. You know, for this guy, and he sure does burn forests. You look in the TV uh, in the summertime, in the fall time, when the most forest fires happen, you know, for this guy, that's it, glory for this guy. God just, you know, lighting a fire. They, they, they blame uh, uh, so and so uh, walking with a cigarette or so and so throwing a cigarette or because of a, a lit cigarette cigarette that is thrown in a whole bunch of pile of dry leaves or whatever or uh, by tree bark somewhere or something like that you know for this guy they they say it's uh, started by somebody with their uh, cigarettes uh, smoking well no it's uh, it's because God they're uh, you know, put that person at that particular spot at that particular time uh, so that uh, they uh, uh, the forest fire can catch on fire at that particular spot you know for this guy God was using that person to uh, start the the fire the fire for this guy glory for this guy I mean that's it for this guy so whether it be uh, lightning or he's going to use some man down the street to who's a sinner down the street to to uh, to uh, do uh, you know accomplish what God well once uh, once done, that's it. First guy, he'll do whatever means he can. First guy, so whether it be the heat, whether it be the lightning, or he'll use some man down the street uh, who smokes or whatever, so that uh, he meant to uh, accomplish his means. You no, know, first guy, he'll use anything he can. You know, first guy to to uh, to uh, finish to get his will done. You no, know, first guy, so take the force away. First guy, so they don't deserve that force, and uh, take it away because you don't deserve it. They haven't been uh, giving me the glory to save the Lord. They haven't been giving my son the glory. They've been perverting my word. They've been uh, mocking my word, and it's just far too long. And that's it. I'm going to show these people goodbye. You know, so you don't take heed my word. You've been reading the, the funny Bibles on the NIV, so those new uh, non-American standards and whatever perverted version up there. Uh, you know, said the gospel superfluity and naughtiness. Well, that's it. I'm going to take your force away, and that's it. I'm going to do this to you. And then, praise God. That's it. So prepare to meet thy Maker. You know, praise God. As uh, uh, as um, 
Amos says, prepare to meet thy God. You no, know, said, praise God. So this I'll do unto you. Prepare to meet thy God. I'll take your forest away and your church in the forest or your cabin in the forest or whatever that you cherish so much, whatever that you uh, think is uh, uh, you, you, you cherish so much, I'm going to take that away. Why? Because you have not obeyed the words of the living God. You have not uh, obeyed the words of the living God. Jeremiah said, thy words were found, thy words were eaten and were rejoicing in my heart. You know, the problem with Christianity is that they have no rejoicing in their heart. They just got the uh, dead gospel. And men, praise God, they don't have uh, the words, uh, the wholesome words, even the words for the Lord Jesus Christ in their heart. You know, praise God, and that's it. And taking vengeance on them that on them that obey not the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. And praise God, that's it. If, if man took heed to his gospel, man took heed to his word of God, you know, that's it. Uh, you mean, that's it. God said that uh, he'll uh, not at all uh, 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 bring down the evil that he sought to do unto that nation. But uh, unfortunately, that uh, we have a people out there that uh, that uh, seeks to do evil. And there you go. Like you did with the Israelites, you plague them with plagues and you smote them uh, with uh, uh, fiery serpents. And then, praise God, and anything and everything God can do uh, and has, you know, praise God, that's it. Uh, that, uh, to uh, get man off the face of the earth, man, first God would be a cancer, uh, where it be a heart attack or or a, di a disease, and they're coming up with uh, it's a coronary disease. Well, well, it's 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 a uh, it's a disease. Uh, you know, first guy uh, from the land of Egypt. It's nothing new, nothing new under Sunday. It's called coronary because the heart goes this way, heart goes that way, so forth and so on. Well, that's if my heart goes whatever way. I mean, that's, uh, I just want to be uh, taken off the uh, earth. I mean, it's my time. That's it, my time. I don't want to be put on pills like a robot and, and on machines and have machines guide me and tell me what to do and so forth and so on. No way. Uh, Praise God, glory, praise God, and Leah said, Praise God, my time's done, my time's done, and then praise God, and then Leah, and praise God, uh, and then praise God. We don't read that the Apostle Paul, you know, praise God, uh, or uh, or uh, Peter, or, or praise God, or whatever, you know, praise God, uh, you know, that's it, that uh, we don't at all uh, read that when their time was up that they had special machines because, uh, uh, you know, that's it, uh, that Paul has head chopped off for the gospel, you know, uh, cut off for the gospel according to uh, history. It doesn't tell you that in the Bible, but uh, we know according to history uh, that they said that uh, Paul had his head chopped off uh, for the gospel. Well, that's it, praise God. That's it. They, they, they didn't have partially chopped off and just uh, have it on a machine or in uh, some box somewhere. No, that's it. Uh, they, they just chopped off. And Peter, you know, that's it. Uh, they, uh, they crucified him, hung him upside down. And uh, uh, John and the Isle of Patmos, that's it. John was on a heart machine, uh, and he lived uh, to be a good old age in Revelations when he seen uh, the uh, uh, Christ. You know, for his God, for his God is coming about what's coming on the face of the earth. You know, for his God, and uh, giving a warning. It's just uh, uh, paralyzing, uh, par paralleling, uh, mirroring Daniel. Thank you, uh, mir mirroring Dan Daniel. For his God, for his God. So, Amen. I said, for his God. So, you know, drop thy words to the force to the self. For his God. So, man don't want it because they're sin. They want to give up their filthiness. They don't want to give up their iniquity. They don't want to give up their uh, uh, place uh, that they have with the, with the devil. Well, God's not going to give up your place in hell because you have a place in hell and when you don't want the gospel of Christ, praise God, praise God because it's calling you unto uh, holiness, unto uh, salvation. He's calling you into his word. And man have just been kicking Jesus against the pricks for tar far too long. And now look at what's happening, all these new diseases and all these new plagues and everything is starting to happen. And the... Uh, uh, compared to 100 years ago, 200 years ago, because now that uh, God's patience, you know, with man, you know, this guy's been patient all these years, and been patient, and men have just been uh, ignoring him and rejecting him. Every generation gets worse and worse and worse, and, and they've uh, uh, perverted his word, and uh, that's it. And now that uh, patience is, uh, is uh, you know, with God is starting to, uh, you know, wear down, and uh, he's trying to wake them up, you know, for his God. said, uh, glory for his God. People think about God maybe about the that's funeral service, or maybe they'll think about God, or maybe uh, Christ uh, at the last minute, the last breath, when they know that uh, they only have. Uh, six months to live or three months to live, uh, you know, that's it, and they'll think about God, you know, these guys that, uh, and they'll try to do, uh, or men uh, won't even, sometimes won't think about God, just do everything they can to do to remain on the face of the surf, and just like the devil, you know, he knows he has a short time, and he'll try everything he can on the face of the surf to deceive the very elect, you know, for his God to uh, pull them away from the gospel using uh, his preachers with feigned words, uh, speaking evil of the truth, you know, praise God, false prophets, false teachers, and then that's it. And how many of them are them are out there? Lots of them, praise God, that uh, confess not that Jesus Christ is coming in the flesh. The Son of God is coming in the flesh. There's an antichrist. Uh, amen, praise God. These are gospel perverts out there that are doing it. Praise God, glory, praise God. So, amen, hallelujah, praise God. So that's why the power of God, salvation, the gospel of Christ, we're here today. Amen, praise God, to bring it to you. Praise God, says it's written. Glory, praise God. And then, amen. So we're not bringing something to you that's the unwritten. Praise God, they, they have this thing called the unwritten word or the unwritten rule. Well, you know, praise God, uh, it's all written. You know, praise God, hallelujah, Jesus says it's written. You know, Jesus never went to the devil and said, well, there's an unwritten rule that uh, says that uh, we can't do this and so and so forth and so on. But I think it's okay with just a little bit. And just like man, that's the unwritten rule. No, the, the Bible says that God will not at all acquit the wicked. He's got glory for God because God will be standing for judgment to see Christ and you'll not acquit. You won't get off on a legal technicality. Praise God, because you have to answer the things. Uh, amen. Praise God, and every man has to answer their own things. Praise God, I can't answer uh, for you and you can't answer 
answer for me. We all must face the judgment seat of Christ, and we all must answer. No, praise God, that's it. According to what we've done, good or bad, no, praise God, that's it. Glory, praise God, we have to answer. Uh, for it, praise God, glory, praise God. But amen, praise God, we could be living holy, that your uh, name's written in the Lamb's Book of Life, and that your uh, sins and iniquities you'll remember no more, to be blotted out. You know, praise God, that's it. And taken out, praise God, glory, praise God, if you turn to Christ. But when people don't, you know, that's it, praise God. Uh, you know, that's it, that, uh, you know, God has a way uh, for you. You know, praise God, glory, praise God, that's it, that, uh, you know, that's it, you'll... Uh, uh, whether it be uh, you're uh, in the forest, no praise God. Uh, whether it be uh, in the forest and caught in the middle of a forest fire, and that's it, you can't escape. Well, it's been all been planned because uh, He knows that uh, you're not going to turn around, and turn to God, and, and uh, so forth. Well, well, He was a good Christian. He was a good uh, Lutheran. He was a good Baptist. That don't make you no good son of God. And say going to church don't make you no son of God. You know what makes you sons of God is uh, having power of the gospel of Christ, is giving up those uh, things, giving up your doctrines, giving up your ways. Praise God and start uh, reading His Word. Praise God because Jesus said. If Man, let me keep my words, keep my commandments. They're my father and I make our bold in him, praise God, glory, praise God. And said to just call upon the name of the Lord when you need help, praise God. This is we sons of God. No, praise God, sometimes we need help in a situation, praise God, glory, praise God. And they say, call upon the name of the Lord. And amen, praise God, that commit thy ways unto works of the Lord, and you shall uh, make it past. Past, praise God, praise God. But the promise we have out there is that people aren't committing uh, nothing. They're just committing their uh, filthiness to the Lord. They're committing their Christmas uh, and their Easter and their and their and their whatever you know. Praise God, but they're not committing their ways unto the Lord. Praise God, they are. They would give it all up. You must be born again, born of the Spirit, and not born of the flesh. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God. And as we were reading there in Ezekiel 20 about the dropping the words of self into the forest, you know, praise God, glory, praise God. Remember, we have, this, uh, we have uh, right here that. Uh, uh, praise God in uh, Ezekiel chapter, or I'm sorry, Hebrews chapter 12. You know, praise God, I mean, that's it. That, uh, that uh, well, praise God, I mean, that's it. That uh, verse 25 See that you refuse not him that speaketh, for they escape not who refused him that spake on earth. How much more shall we not escape if we turn away from him that speaketh? From heaven, you know, praise God. I mean, that's it. They refused me, the gospel preacher. How many people have laughed at me, mocked at me? I can tell you stories where uh, people actually uh, went out and went insane at the uh, Toronto airport because they uh, uh, they uh, refused. I mean, that's it. Praise God. They try to escape from me. That speak on the earth. They turn away. You know, praise God. That uh, that's it. But they, uh, um, if we turn away from him, that speak of uh, uh, how much more shall we not escape, not we escape if we turn away from him that speak of from heaven, you know, praise God. So you can't escape from God. You know, praise God. So you can't escape from God when he speaks from heaven. Praise God, because the words that I speak are not mine, but the Father's who sent me, praise God. And then it's Jesus, Jesus in me, Christ in me, praise God. That's it, praise God. His voice then shook the earth. But now he said, promising, yet once more I will shake not the earth only, but also heaven. Amen, praise God. Hallelujah, praise God. He didn't just burn your forest. You know, praise God. Shook the earth. No waves and tidal waves and earthquakes and, and the ground shaking and Name it, praise God, shook the earth, and he's also going to shake the heaven, you know, praise God. And uh, it tells you uh, that in Isaiah that, uh, like a scroll, it's going to be rolled up like a scroll. You know, the uh, old earth and heaven, you know, praise God, scrolled like a scroll, it's going to vanish away, and that's it. And it's going to be new heaven, new earth, we're in the of righteousness, praise God. And this word yet once more signifies the removing of those things are shaken as things that are made, as those things which cannot be shaken may remain. You know, praise God, praise God. So those things that... Uh, Cannot be uh, shaken, no praise God, may remain. Well, praise God, Jesus said, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away, praise God, so they're going to remain. Amen, praise God. Wherefore, we receive a kingdom which cannot be moved. Let us have grace, whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. Well, praise God, <laughs> me, Diamond, uh, Jesus talked about the, the uh, New Jerusalem which comes down from above. You know, praise God, well, that's it, praise God, that's it, that, uh, that won't uh, be uh, shaken at all, that won't uh, leave, no, praise God, that's it, that's going to be there forever, praise God, we're seeing a kingdom which cannot be moved, the new Jerusalem, which come down from above, praise God, new heaven, new earth, you know, that's it, that can't be moved, because Jesus said, you know, praise God, that uh, talked about it, praise God, glory, praise God, said, heaven earth shall pass away, my words, my words shall not pass away, I mean, praise God, glory, praise God, and that's it, and that, uh, when you see some man coming, uh, rejoice and look up, and your salvation drop nigh. When you see things coming on the earth, praise God, glory, praise God. And then people are looking down. Problems are they're looking down, looking down, looking down. And what's uh, under there is nothing because the devil's underneath my feet. But praise God, hallelujah, praise God, let us have grace whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. And praise God, and said, hallelujah, praise God, we not serve uh, reverence so and so, reverence. To the word of God, let's have reverence to the word of God. Let's have a, a reverence to the word of God. Praise God, I mean, praise God. Reverence, praise God. I mean, it's, it's a, reverence should be reverence to the word of God. Uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, reverence, uh, uh, reverence uh, McLean or reverence uh, Andrew uh, Kelly. Praise God in this case. Praise God. So reverence uh, to the word of God. I'm gonna 
reverence this word of God with uh, godly fear for his God and that's it, hallelujah for his God said so reverence for his God. For our God is a consuming fire for his God, hallelujah. That's it. Our God's consuming fire. He's a jealous God for his God. He's a consuming fire. And that's why hell is made for no, for his God, because it's a consuming fire. He'll set your forest on fire. He's a consuming fire. Where he's going to use the sinner down the street, or where he's going to use uh, lightning, or whatever means he can to set the forest on fire for his God. Hallelujah, for his God. Or make it hotter for his God. I mean, that's it. God will use anything and anything to start. No, for his God. Men are always safeguarding. You know, they're watching one thing. They're watching it's too hot. They're watching. They're putting up to make sure that the, the lightning strikes and whatnot, and, and so forth and so on. Well, you know, God's got other ways around it. So, amen. He'll get around that. No problem. That's it. Men are watching one direction. And God will come out from another direction that man will never even think about. Man, praise God. That's the way He operates. Glory, praise God. Man, said that. Uh, man, praise God. That's, that's the way He operates. He's not going to uh, operate uh, any differently. He's not going to uh, operate and and uh, and uh, change His mind and uh, and uh, and uh, so forth and so on. When He has it all set, it's all set. Unless men want to repent and give up, and man, that's it. And then God will change His mind. Praise God. Glory, praise God. Noah, you know, praise God. Uh, uh, was there, you know, for his God, to, you know, because of that one man living holy, for his God, and sin, for his God, so, I mean, he didn't destroy everybody, because of that one man, uh, God changed his mind, he won't uh, at all destroy uh, Noah and his family, because he has uh, that one man who's living holy, for his God, he wasn't going to destroy everybody, he's going to keep uh, people alive, a remnant, he kept Noah and his family alive, for his God, hallelujah, for his God, Moses stood in the way, because of one man, uh, changed God's mind uh, several times, but uh, God destroyed the Israelites, because they did not at all want to take heed to the word of God, and then that's it, but our God is a consuming fire, praise God, praise God, and that's, it. And that's why that, uh, uh, he'll burn your forest when you don't want to give up your sin, you don't want to give up your way. How do you know that uh, burning the forest and, 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 and uh, all that is, is all because of our sin, Andrew? Well, the Bible says that the wages of sin is death, praise God. The Bible says uh, is, is it that uh, they that commit sin is of the devil, praise God, glory, praise God, and uh, uh, amen, praise God, and that's it. And that, uh, look at Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden when they start uh, in, uh, falling into sin, start falling for the tree, listening to another gospel, listening to the serpent. Then all of a sudden, boom, what happened is that now we got the angel with the flaming sword to take them out of the Garden of Eden. Right? That's it, praise God, and that's it. Uh, and, you know, that's it. the garden's gone, that's it. And uh, uh, amen, praise God, that's it. And, and it's because of their sin, they're gone out of the garden, and that's it. And God's going to take your garden, your little forest away. And praise God, whether it be church in the forest, or rock in the forest, or lodge in the forest, or whatever church you go to in the forest, you know, praise God, he'll take that away as well. When you don't preach the gospel of Christ, praise God, glory, praise God, amen. But well, when you preach the gospel of Christ, as it's written in the King James Bible, amen, praise God, to walk in holiness, perfection, righteousness, sanctification. Well, that's it, praise God, you, you will, you may praise God, save your force, praise God, that's it, glory, praise God, he'll save you, praise God, amen, but when you don't, well, that's it, praise God, he'll just burn on force, and, and he'll just uh, keep a little remnant, a little, uh, you know, praise God, a few people left, left around to talk about uh, his wrath, you know, praise God, said that uh, the fire of his wrath, praise God, glory, praise God, so, you know, praise God, so uh, get rid of sin, praise God, clean up, you know, because uh, God's not just working in the forests and uh, small towns, he's working in the big cities as well, look at 9-11, praise God, uh, you know, two airplanes, uh, uh, you know, uh, the Bible says, it says, shall not be an evil in the city, and the Lord not done it. You know, praise God, glory, praise God, and that's it. So, praise God. So, learn, learn to give up your sin, praise God, that's it, before you meet that maker. You no, know, praise God, don't meet your maker in the wrong way. Don't meet him while being a drunk, being a fornicator, being a murderer, being a homosexual, being a uh, whatever, being a uh, an unbeliever, being a uh, rebellious, you know, praise God, Christian, being a, uh, a sinner. Don't meet him be in, in those ways, because uh, that's it, because... Uh, the Bible says, it says, if your name's not found written in the Lamb's Book of Life, you know, praise God, uh, you'd be cast alive uh, with the beast and false prophet into a lake which burned with fire brimstone in Revelation chapter 21, praise God, glory, because your name's got to be found written in the Bible. How is that? By reading the Bible until you see your name, praise God, until you see, meditate the word of God day and night, bless this man, meditate from the word of God day and night, for a seed shall be blessed, meditate on this word, praise God, think, you know, praise God, looking unto Jesus, praise God, so meditate on the Bible, you know, praise God, that's it, praise God, because uh, your forest, uh, you know, that's it, it's only going to be there. Uh, you know, praise God, that's it, uh, uh, for a short while, and then God's going to get rid of it when he uh, destroys the earth, when, uh, whether the force be there now, or be gone tomorrow morning, or be gone next year, or next week, we don't know, praise God, praise God, and uh, where it be uh, gone, or still there until uh, uh, when God destroys the earth, we don't know, but uh, we know one thing, that he's going to burn the earth, you know, praise God, and uh, new heaven, new earth, where do all righteous, it's going to burn it and blow it up, you know, praise God, it's, it's, it's going to be thousands of uh, little pieces of meteorites, so there you go, so there you go, praise God, hallelujah, praise God, uh, you know, that's it. You want to see meteorites? Well, you know, for God, uh, uh, that's it. Uh, if man uh, 
uh, have the brains by then now uh, before Jesus returns. I don't know if they're going to be living on Mars. Uh, I hope not because it's, it's, we're called to live on the face of the earth, nowhere else. So if a uh, man sees the meteorites flying past him, these unusual big uh, chunks flying past him, well, that's just the earth that just blew up. And hallelujah, praise God, glory, praise God. The unusual orbit. Well, that's just the earth that blew up because uh, there's blown, uh, don't dwell in righteousness. And don't worry, he'll get to Mars as well. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. If you're still, if you're living there, or praise God, he'll get to the moon or wherever. You know, sit that. And and they say we don't want to live for him. Well, that's it. That uh, he'll get to you one way or another. Praise God, glory, praise God. And sit that. Uh, uh, so, uh, amen, praise God. So get in the gospel, get in the Bible, start reading your Bible, amen, praise God. Search the scriptures, praise God. Search them, praise God. Hallelujah. Don't just, you know, uh, uh, debate about them. You know, praise God. Christianity loves to debate and, and uh, debate and debate and debate. You know, praise God, is this the right Bible, which is the right way? Well, for, forget, you know, that Jesus said, is that uh, uh, heaven and earth shall pass away, my word shall not pass away. If the King James Bible cannot make holy uh, people, you think the other Bibles can work? Absolutely not. Let them be a curse. No, praise God. Let them preach any other gospel. So, praise God, glory, praise God. I'm here at the Gospel of Christ, King James Bible, Evangelist Andrew Kelly, telling you read your Bible. Amen. Praise God. Uh, so I'll be back tomorrow with another sermon. Praise God. Glory. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, if God permit, praise God. It's another sermon. And uh, sit uh, for salvation of your soul. Praise God. Evangelist Andrew Kelly, telling you start reading your Bible. Amen. Leo.